Hi, I'm Robert Quigley, and I'm the Associate Director for the School of Journalism and Media. I'm also an Associate Professor of Practice uh, here at the school. I am here to tell you about one thing that works for me in my classes. You know, Zoom is tough. Our students are always saying they're having a hard time making connections with each other. And that is tough. When you think about when you were in school, it was you know nice to be able to sit there before class begins and have a conversation with the person next to you. Uh, maybe you would actually become friends with them. And sometimes they become your friends for life. Uh, they're losing that right now with uh, the way we have to teach classes. And so what I've been doing is having the students assigned to breakout rooms. I do it automatically. I don't assign them manually. I don't let them pick where they go, although they can do that with the new Zoom. I do it more randomly. So when you click on automatic and you open the breakout rooms, I make it to where there's like three to four students per breakout room. I do this with my large class that has generally about 70 people total in there, so maybe 20 to 25 breakout rooms. And I have them just have a topic to discuss uh, so that they start a conversation. Some of them are a little bit shy, even in a smaller breakout room, and so you give them something to talk about. Uh, some of the ideas I've had is just uh, give them a topic that's in the news, uh, try to make it something maybe a little more happy instead of like depressing news. Uh, sometimes I'll ask them to talk about uh, the topic that we're discussing in lecture. Sometimes I'll ask them, you know, like, what's their favorite place to eat and why? And so a mix of things that give them a, a topic to talk about. Just today, as I'm recording this, I had my students go in and plan out a podcast if they were gonna make their own podcast. Obviously, they didn't have time to build one in this little breakout session because I only gave them 10 minutes, but it was 10 minutes of creative energy between a group of three to four students. And then when they're done, they come back. I uh, close the room. It gives you one minute the moment you hit close rooms. Uh, so they usually take all the way to the very last second, though, even though they get a warning that the rooms are about ready to close. They really enjoy talking to each other. Then they come back and I have one person from each group volunteer to share what was talked about. And a lot of times they'll just say, well, we just kind of talked. It was just nice to have some human contact that wasn't my little brother or my parents. And so having that connection, I think is important. It's one little thing, it doesn't seem too complicated because it's not, uh, but it makes a big difference for these students. It makes it feel like things are almost normal. I tend to try to pick uh, different times and so that students don't get in the habit of maybe disappearing if it was always at the end because they're like, oh, I don't want to do that because whatever. Sometimes I'll do it in the middle of a lecture when I feel like, you know, I've been going on too long, like, oh, let's go to a breakout room and chat. Sometimes I do it at the start, sometimes I do it at the end. My problem has been, there's been days I've forgotten and then I feel bad. And what's funny is I wasn't sure if the students were liking it, but then I asked, I said, use your little green button if you like it and red if no, my feelings will not be hurt. You know, just let me know. And it was unanimous. There wasn't a single person who didn't want to do it.